My name is Sat Baines. I'm the chef patron of restaurant Sat Baines in Nottingham. It's a seven bedroom hotel with uh, 40 covers, uh, two Michelin star restaurant. Uh, the food is modern British with influences from all over the world with my travels and uh, my background. So it's a modern British menu. This was the first time I've been to Japan. Um, it was a um, mind blowing experience just to kind of overawed with all the kind of smells and and just the people and the, the culture and because it's so new to you because you're not used to it you absorb so much more in so when we came back from japan there was things going in my head all the time i'm very fortunate i've always been creative so when i looked at the profile here of the um, the, the flavor notes i thought why can't we do like a bit of a spectrum of a, a dot sequence where we profile each individual uh, flavour or taste. So you've got salt, sweet, sour, bitter, umami. And the bigger the dot on that colour coded was the more of that flavour you're going to taste it, overall. This first dish we're doing is uh, eel, smoked eel, it's hot smoked. Um, it comes from Lincolnshire, so not far from here. And then with the, the hot smoked eel, it comes in uh, whole. We take it off the fillet, take the skin off and then we infuse that, make an oil, make a mayonnaise and then to give it texture and acidity so it's quite fatty so you've got in there some <clears throat> diced apple again I'm trying to add some texture we've got some little crisp bread and what that will do is um, it's going to give the dish some crunch we've got here some <clears throat> eel mayonnaise and this is made from all the, the skin and the, the bones that we've actually infused in oil and then make a mayonnaise out of it so you just want enough to give it a little binding you, again, we've got to watch the salt here because it's quite smoky and it's quite seasoned, so it's hot smoke. So the eel, we don't want to over season that. So when I talked to you earlier about <clears throat> layering the textures and the flavors, it's like here you've got crunch, soft, crisp, and uh, the freshness is coming from the apple. And then we've got a, a jelly <clears throat> made out of uh, soy, dashi, and truffle. And then the idea is that this has got a nice flavoring but it also keeps the whole dish together. So we're kind of adding layers and layers of uh, flavor now. And I'm just gonna put some, a little bit of the actual eel mayonnaise. And then we've got some pickled radish. Muli, daikon, whatever you want. The dish itself looks really simple. It's kind of almost hidden all the actual eel underneath the truffle jelly and the actual turnip. To finish this sauce kind of brings it all together. <clears throat> a sauce made out of, it's like a, a velouté, so it's like a chicken based sauce. And we finish it with truffle puree. So again, that earthiness really goes well with smoked eel, the freshness from the apple, the pickle from the turnip. So you're getting loads of different contrasts of flavour within a very simple looking dish. So then the truffle, <clears throat> it's got this incredible deep flavour of that earthiness you get with truffles. And for me that's a real good partner to go with the eel. So then at the table, and that's it. You know, I've never been obsessed with looks. I've always been obsessed with flavor. And umami for me sits as a very important ingredient to our food.